Well, you know, I think if you're going to do a sequel, the whole idea is you, you want to do something different. You want to top what you've already done. Otherwise, there's no real reason to do it. And I think it starts with the creative team and bringing in Thorpe to direct it. It, it, he just brought such a mad zaniness to the film that is so exquisite, reminds you of like old school insane Looney Tunes. And there are set pieces in it that really have the audience on the floor crying. One in particular set in a urinal that I, I won't uh, talk much about without ruining, but it is, uh, it's just so funny. Beat by beat, it's funnier than the original, I think. Animated films, I think the best ones, really do speak to every single demographic, and this is no different, there's no exception. It's never been more important to sort of heal divides, come together, and try to find a common ground to overcome differences. And with Angry Birds, that's exactly what has to happen. The, the birds and the pigs have a new common enemy that they have to overcome. I think audiences can expect to see one of the most entertaining movies of the summer. It's such a fresh, fun, and hilarious way to go back to school and to say goodbye to what I think was a terrific summer, uh, especially when it comes to entertainment. I think just prepare for two hours of nonstop laughter.